I mean is one of the biggest YouTube golf collaborations of 2023, netting nearly 3.8 million views across three different videos. I'm talking about the GM Golf and Corinna collab. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about a lot of things related to it and how it affects the greater YouTube space today. So hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy this content. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a fantastic Thursday. Listen, there has been so much YouTube golf going on recently. There have been so many videos. There have been so many big collaborations that it's really got my brain working. And looking back on this year, I've done a bunch of research. I've gone into the numbers a little bit and I wanna share some stuff with you guys because honestly, like it, this year I think has changed YouTube golf forever i think there have been a lot of things and a lot of impacts and we're going to talk about this collaboration specifically in a little bit but if you just look across the board at all creators you can pull the top videos from 2023 and almost every single big creator their top video from 2023 was some sort of collaboration outside of youtube golf depending on the creator if you're talking a little bit of a smaller creator who still you know isn't quite up with the sum of the YouTube golfers, then obviously collaborating with the YouTube golfer will do really well for them. But in the past, really, like since the Giga break and all that, like we saw a lot of big group collaborations with individuals, but what we haven't seen as much of is the bigger collaborations with influencers, athletes, whatever, outside of the YouTube golf space and really the effectiveness of those collaborations. Scrolling through all of these top creative videos, like you've seen, the collaborations are with people outside of just the space. I mean, my mind goes to collaboration with Tim the Tab Man, which was huge. We obviously had lots of other big creators collaborating with people outside of the space. Now, why this is important. This brings viewers into our YouTube golf fold. Like, yes, these videos get a lot of views, but these creators can do a lot of things to get a lot of views. Brian Rose's biggest video this year was their YouTube golf championships. They all came down, six of them played this big match. That's great. These guys know how to get views. One of Garrett's most viewed videos this past year was just him solo shooting like a 64 or whatever it was that he shot at that course he grew up playing in, I think, Oklahoma. And so obviously it's not just about the fact that these guys are getting views with these videos, but it's the fact that the views are reaching outside of just our YouTube golf ecosystem. And that's what brings me to this collaboration here and why I loved it so much when it was happening and why I do think it was so huge for the space. Rena is a figure who has existed in the greater YouTube sphere well before this collaboration with GM Golf and Gigit. She is a creator that has been part of the vlog squad. She's been in David Dobrik videos. She's had YouTube fans all over the world for a very long time. Why that's important is because now that she's gotten into golf, it's just like all of us who have gotten into golf, and I'm putting myself in this lump, in the last, say, three to five years, the COVID golfers or whatever, a huge portion of the world has gotten into golf. So many casual fans of whether it be golf or whether it just be sports in general, people who have played sports growing up or people who are just in completely different avenues in life have found golf as everything it is, a great pastime, a great way to go out and get some fresh air, to be active, whatever. And because of that, you have so many like synchronicities between individuals like a gamer, Tim the Tap Man or Nade Shot, these people you would never expect who have massive, massive, massive audiences who are now also pulling them into golf. Well, their audiences are full of just people People like that, people who have started to play golf as a hobby. We've seen the explosion of golf over the last few years that is so evident. And so the more we can have that bridged into our creator community, the better. I think a lot of people looked at this collaboration and just saw the, I don't know, um, curb appeal of it, I guess the, the starry eyes appeal of it, which obviously there is, and that's great. But like deeper down as to like how it actually helps and affects and why it gets so many views, like you could have a good looking human being in a video, it's not necessarily going to pull a crazy amount of views like these collaborations did. There's a huge element of that person also having a following outside of the stuck in YouTube golf space. And even if part of their following enjoys golf, they might not be watching YouTube golf video, but then they get through to this introduction, they find these creators and they're like, oh, we enjoy this. Boom, they're part of our ecosystem and our space grows and that rises the tide for all creators. So listen, I think it's very cool. I think it's a very cool collaboration. I think reflecting back on this past year, seeing these creators and what they've done, reaching out, even like the Josh Allen collaborations of BDS, like these are all top, top tier videos for these guys. And I think this style of collaboration going forward, if we can achieve it as our space grows, which I mean, come on, like Good Good is partnering with like Golf Channel, they're on Peacock for their live event. Like they're at the event right now, the Amax, they did a pro-am with Minwoo Lee. Like these guys are getting as mainstream as mainstream gets. And the more that can happen, the more 
more we can pull in. Like, imagine if, like, Charles Barkley came on. Is he the golfer? I think he's the one that golfs, right? From the TNT broadcast? I think so. Anyway, imagine if he came on and he golfed in one of these videos or something like that. Like, pull of these mainstream individuals who also love to golf. Steph Curry. Like, good good gets a good good major with Steph Curry. That would just break the internet like these are the types of collaborations that i see growing the space more less of just like intermingling collaborations with each other those are good they're great for content we enjoy them but for growing the space as a whole for making this youtube golf ecosystem what i know it can be these are the types of collaborations i want to see coming more this year Anyways, I thought I'd wrap that up. I found it very interesting. I was kind of scrolling through some notes of the last year and kind of looking forward to next year. And this was something that really stood out to me. So let me know your thoughts on all of it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.